And we'll check back with you. Well, the election results are in and property taxes are going up over the next 20 years in Kansas City. But that money will help pay for upgrades like things for roads, sidewalks, flooding concerns around the city. Kansas City voters approved all three parts of the Go Bond initiative the city pushed on the ballot. So now it will spend $800 million for those infrastructure upgrades. The big question now is what's next? When will we start seeing this? Now new this morning, 41 Action News reporter Belinda Post joins us live with the timeline for the upgrades. Good morning, Belinda. Patrick and Lindsay, in fact, voters gave a big yes to the $800 million GO Bond project. So they were actually asked three questions on the ballot yesterday. The first question had to do with infrastructure repairs to streets, sidewalks, bridges, roads, that sort of thing. The second was for flood control, which actually it, it kind of feels like we need out here yeah. right now. Um, and the third one is for a new animal shelter and the Kansas City Museum. Now, joining me is Council Member Scott Wagner. We are so excited to have him here, even in the rain. Yeah. And that's because you're so crazy about Go Bonds, correct? I am crazy about Go Bonds, and I am crazy about the vote yesterday. So grateful to the citizens of Kansas City who stepped forward and, and are really going to help us do a lot of work here in Kansas City over the next 20 years. Absolutely. So we talked about all those different things that the Go Bonds really will pay for. Where are we going to see action first? Well, it's going to be in streets like this. Uh, North Brighton is an example of a, of a project that has been on the books for 20 years. We have prepared for it. It is, it is shovel ready for construction. And we have a number of projects across the city that are just just like that. So the ability for us to finally get to those projects and really help citizens who have been waiting for those projects to happen, uh, that's the exciting part about all of this. Absolutely. Well, the council member was also telling me that if you have a house that's about $140,000, you'll probably see an increase in your property tax about $8 over the next 20 years. That's all going to help pay for this. Reporting live, Belinda Post, 41 Action News Today.